Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine, and I'm here again with Ewan Frost Pennington, who's the director of Munkaster Castle. We have had him on a number of times. It's a great story. I'm going to let him tell it uh, on Insider Travel Report. So we're here at uh, uh, Destination Britain, North America, and we're getting to talk to Ewan. Ewan, tell us about yourself and, and what you were doing, and then how you were collared to do what you're doing now. So, uh, yeah, my name is Ewan Frostpenton, and I am now running a historic castle in the north of England. Yeah. Uh, and it's been in my family for over 800 years, and uh, I was working actually here in San Francisco. It's been very weird to come back because right. I've been right. with my old colleagues in the office having a nice time pretending that it, it hasn't Nothing happened. happened. Wait, wait, so what, we, what office was this? I worked for an engineering company here um, advising tech companies and big institutions on how they could reduce their carbon footprint. But now I am focused on how to keep the castle going. But so your friends were like, oh, my Lord, welcome home, my Lord. Uh, yeah, no, I, I try to avoid the my Lord uh, as much as that comes up occasionally. Yeah, um, yeah uh, my, my friends are pretty shocked. I actually, it's been funny visiting the office because I clearly didn't tell, like my job is now to tell people constantly, come to Moncaster Castle, right. et cetera, et cetera, because it's a wonderful place. But I was clearly not in that mode when I left because quite a few colleagues were like, Wait, so I thought you just went back to the UK. I didn't know what you were doing. You were running a castle. Yeah, uh, they're yeah, kind yeah. of mind blown by the whole thing. So it's been a uh, nice. So for uh, those, those travel advisors who haven't seen our videos, yeah. let's tell them about the castle. And then I'd like to talk about what's new since you've even met my partner. Yeah, okay. So uh, we're a year in. It's been absolute chaos for me in terms of like my life is completely flipped from the way that I thought I was very I think I was very overconfident before going back to uh, work at the at the castle uh, that I would just things would just happen you know I've, I've lived there uh, until I was 18 I knew things like really excited but it's been a lot of hard work like hard work been, with mum and dad watching you mum and dad watching and it, every uh, I've, I've there has been a lot of changes and we've done a lot and when I look back and reflect it's been awesome because my parents have allowed me to do a lot but there's always been, you know, that slight bit of tension of like, really? You're going to do what? Um, well, so give us some examples. First of all, I want to talk about the castle. How many rooms? Uh, where is it? How do you get there? Yes. Yeah, so, pictures. So here we have the castle. Uh, another another good view of it. Uh, oh yeah, I can maybe even zoom in. Yeah. Uh, but it's. Um, It's a proper castle. Uh, some friends did actually just visit from California and they were like, man, you didn't tell us it's a proper castle. We knew it was, you lived in a castle, but this is this is a real castle. Um, but uh, so, yeah, it has uh, I think we actually counted recently 147 rooms and you were getting them ready. Some of them weren't ready. So that number is probably higher than the last time we spoke. Yeah, I mean that that's just like physical rooms within the castle. That's not like bedrooms um, But it's it's a big a big old place because some of those rooms are proper state state rooms. So big grand ones for entertaining uh, For dining etc. But it's um, also got 77 acres of garden. It has uh, 28 to 30 falcons or birds of prey and we have a wonderful bird team there um, and then it has the wider estate so and, and it sits in a very unique setting and context how do we get there uh so the best way to get there is to fly into manchester and then to uh, it's about a two hour drive from manchester or two and a half hour train journey um and it's worth it like it is definitely worth it because the the thing that i'm loving finding out is that we are we have a fantastic product um we are predominantly a hist we're, we're quite experienced like as in we've been a tourist attraction for the last 50 years you've been entertaining the locals with dinners can you tell us about that too yeah so uh, i mean i guess the whole thing is that we've been very focused on the domestic market yeah. and the immediate local domestic market you brought us in yeah and i mean that's the whole thing that i've realized us being the u.s that we um 
Uh, we're clearly really, really good at what we do, but we're terrible at marketing and advertising and telling people about That's where we help. Yeah, exactly. Because um, a lot, like the vast majority of our visitors are from the immediate local area because we rely on word of mouth in terms of to tell people to tell each other how, how good the product is. Um, but now, yeah, we're doing a little bit more, developing some really, really fun uh, and interesting experiences for both the FITs and groups um, that make it definitely worthwhile to come that far. We've been focusing on, uh, in British English, we would say niches, uh, but in American English, it's niche, niches, which I still, yeah, that's a confused, uh, but uh, so niches um, that are really applicable to us. So we're working with, um, like a hiking group that comes and they want to hike across the UK. And so they come, they arrive and we're like the start uh, of that thing. And they, they can come and they can, uh, they have the option of coming to the castle for the kind of arrival dinner where us as the family can host them. And it's a wonderful start to their journey where like, wow, we are, we're definitely in, in a different place now. We are not in America now. <laughs> you can't get this there. But, but also I think it's uh, travel advisors can give a, uh, an attraction that's not touristy because the locals are still coming through. Yeah, uh, no, I, I mean, exactly. Like it is uh, because the, we sit within a very touristy region, but we're on the periphery of it. So it's only the kind of diehards or the people that really know about it. It's definitely off the beaten track uh, in terms of you say, it's, it's been wonderful being here a second year because the first year everyone was like, where the hell is Moncaster? Like, what the hell is that? I've never even heard of it. Whereas this year, I've got I've got mates. Like, as in, your colleague came and visited, and and like, there's a lot more of a buzz with people that they're like, oh, we we know Moncaster, we've been there. Like, as in, they've they've come on a familiarization trip, and so I just have to say to like, my life has become so much easier because I can just say, oh, you should go and speak to the the 15 people in this room that have been there because. I'm obviously going to tell you that it's great, but they'll they'll give you they'll give you the real answer, and, and they also say it's great. So well, that's, that's also the, proof that the marketing that you're doing, that mum and dad wanted to see you, you know, branch out, proof that it's working. Yeah, yeah, I think, and it's it's like so this this year, so last year we'd done like none when we'd come here, we'd done maybe one or two dinners just as a bit of a trial. We've now done uh, probably like ten, fifteen. And then this year, the bookings are starting to pick up. So, and I think it's, I'm, I'm hoping that um, in two, three years time, we can have this as a regular thing that we just know two, three times a week that we're going to have um, a dinner in the castle. We're going to have a group that is going to really get involved. And, and, and I'm having quite a lot of fun with some of the concepts. I want to tell you about them, Alan. So, you like, like, do you have a Halloween dinner? Do you have a seance? Do you have those kinds of things? Yeah, so Murder mystery? Uh, I've got a Dungeons and Dragons group coming uh, and they, they're actually coming just specifically and that, I'm having fun with that. But no, at the moment, my focus is just in making the actual dinner uh, as tailored as possible to the group. And so the plan is that when someone commits to coming to the dinner, they'll get a, a formal invite from the family with our coat of arms and and the like That's with great. and then on the back of it it's got the kind of uh rsvp like how you respond and it's got questions that allow us to tailor it to you and so we've got what's called the formality index because i've realized some people have come like american clientele have been really nervous to turn up to this castle to meet the family yeah. um and they're like, what the hell do I wear? How should I, do I bow? Like as in, yeah, how should I refer to the lady of the house? Um, but I, and, and for me, it's like, well, we, we, can, we can do formal, like as in, but let's take it, let's, let's do it as my great grandparents would, where they would dress for dinner every night and it would be very, very structured. Uh, and it's like kind of Victorian England and it in itself is a, a big experience and you would get told of, and we can say, okay, well, do you want to max out the formality? Do you want to yeah. get the 10 out of 10 formal where we're going to be very stern and very British? Yeah. Or do you want the, the one out of 10, which is maybe a bit more silly, like you're traveling, you don't want to carry around black tie with you. You just, you want, uh, uh, like, yeah, exactly that. Um, Before we run out of time, you were yeah. going to, you invested in a, a, a motel nearby because uh, basically you were trying to get more rooms for staying. Tell yeah. us a little about uh, that. So we have um, we have two hotels. We have one that's four star, uh, the others that's like a free, uh, high three star. 
Uh, the one that's four star is like beautiful. It is a historic property in, its, in itself. It's got 16 bedrooms currently, but we're expanding it for March next year to be 26 bedrooms. Uh, really excited about that, all en suite, all yeah, uh, luxury. And that's working really well with our current American, uh, American clientele that come over, that they are able to stay there come to the castle for the dinner and have that that link uh, for the FIT market so no one's really staying in the castle yet no so for the FIT market um, we are doing castle stays it's just it's a more premium product like as in it just has a higher cost associated with it um, and so we've got um, one coming up in October actually uh, which will be uh, which I'm really looking forward to so let's give them information so how they can book that yeah so uh, reach out directly to uh, well, I would say myself, I'm not the best, but uh, myself or Hannah, so Ewan, E-W-A-N, at moncaster.co.uk, even. Um, that's the best way to reach out to us. That's the website as well. Yeah, exactly, uh, moncaster.co.uk. But um, that is the signal. We have to stop. Yeah, we do. It's been lovely to chat, and it has been a condensed session. But thanks. It's nice to see you again, Alan. Yeah, you, as ever, a great, great time. Thank you. And so, this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.